What is your plan in the future in terms of education? Okay. Um, I, as you know, my name is Olu. I'm mm -hmm. from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I came to the United States in 2016. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm currently at ELAC. Um, I'm studying architecture. Mm -hmm. And the um, plan for right now is just before I transferred to like a four year university, I wanted to like um, do my OPT, which is for me to like um, work for a year to just gain some experience. Then um, after we probably transferred for, to a four year um, university in um, architecture. Then after that, then I plan to um, do my master's in that architecture. Mm -hmm. And in terms of um educational um, path. I also wanna, I'm interested in like graphic designs and um, just product designs. Mm -hmm. So after like, um, after my architecture, I just want to pursue that. So mm -hmm. I just don't wanna mix everything together and get confused and not end up doing um, something. So I just wanna take like um, a step, step by step type of thing. I, I wanted to um, focus on architecture first get my bachelor's, then uh, my master's, then go into like graphic designs and product um, design after which, just to oh. get like mm -hmm. either AA or bachelor's, but not not really deep into it because I'm, I just, I, I just see it as a f um, fun thing to do, but I just wanted to like have the, the um, degree there, but normally I'll just go to like a few website uh, that teaches graphic designs and mm -hmm. just learn from them. But I, I also want to have like uh, that and record that I'm interested in graphic design and that's part of me. And I'm also interested in product design, so. Yeah, wow, so pretty pretty amazing. So you in, and you're interested in different areas. So yeah. in, in, in terms of design, so do you finalize your, your direction yet or are you still thinking about different direction you want to go honestly i i'm i'm the type of person that i never finalize my um direction because mm -hmm. they i might feel like oh i'm really interested in this thing then two years after i'm like okay i think i'm deviating from mm -hmm. something but because before architecture i only i only thought i was interested in like drawing so mm -hmm. in high school when we did like technical drawings mm -hmm. and we did like engineering drawings um I, I became interested in art, uh, architecture more and more than I came to the United States. I started um, taking classes at ELAC. I became more interested. Then in the process of me learning my design classes and my presentation board and how to do everything on my presentation board, I became mm -hmm. interested in graphic designs because you have uh, to use um, Photoshop, mm -hmm. Illustrator and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. software. So I became interested in that. From then after that, then I started seeing the 3D side of everything. And I'm like, okay, I'm interested in product design as well. So I'm not mm -hmm. like really fixed or something, but I'm like everywhere, but I know I want to do this things. Yeah, the good thing is for the architecture um, study. So you will expose, you have exposure in different things, right? So you exposure how to do the drawings, yeah. how to build your models and how to um, right. models drawings. And also you will do 3D animations, rendering. It's a lot of good things, right? And then right. you do digital image, you will do Photoshop, right? <laughs> and then you and in the process too, also, I mean, when I was when I was a little kid, I've always had an interest in <laughs> photography. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the back home photographer is not, they don't see it as a career, they just see mm -hmm. it as a side job. Mm -hmm. My parents were like, uh, uh, don't don't go into it just go into something that we mm -hmm. see as careers and i'm like okay my second option is um architecture but recently i think i've been um getting money involved with my photography side because mm -hmm. i because i see that um in 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 the time that we are right now you have to for you to be able to succeed you have to like have a different um skills and, mm -hmm. and for you to like it especially fin uh, in the financial sector mm -hmm. you have to have every different every skills that you can have that can get you what you need mm -hmm. every so, okay i need to bring my, back my photography side i really loved this thing when i was a little kid why not just still go on to it? you still love it right mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. everywhere <laughs> wow <clears throat> 
excuse me. So yeah, that's that's absolutely true. So um, you you the, the beautiful thing is you can go to school, you can explore different things, and then you get one thing you really really <clears throat> want to go. And then yeah. also in my um, master study in USC, I have a, a good student. I have some student. They come from the art center, so they have uh, product design. Mm -hmm. They have automobile design. This is fantastic. So, yeah, you you definitely this is the perfect yeah. timing for you to ex to to figure out what you're trying to do. So and then also uh, I more yeah. want to focus as say um the the challenge facing uh, by, uh, from the international student. So can you tell me more about when you, why you want to study in the United States and also in the beginning, what, what kind of challenges you're facing? Well, I wanted to, I mean, <clears throat> United States wasn't really my, I didn't even have any specific place to go. Normally because um, me and my family, when we, when we go for vacation, we always go to London and that's it. So that's the only like place I know outside of Nigeria, even I don't know, much African countries, or I do know like a few of them when I was a kid. So I, I didn't really have like a specific place to go when I wanted to study. So my mom was just like, okay, uh, you already know London a little bit. So why just not explore your mm -hmm. options? I'm like, okay, where's the next best thing? And my mom uh, realized that I still, I have an uncle here. I mm -hmm. had an uncle here. So she was like, okay, why don't you just go meet your uncle and study here? So, um, at first, the, the application process was so difficult because number one, I, I, um, I was 16 at the time I was applying to universities and colleges. Mm -hmm. So most of them were just um, Santa Monica uh, Community College rejected my application. Pasadena City College rejected my application. Most of them did not even put the reason why, but mm -hmm. I think one of the schools they kept that um, because of my age I was 16 and I wasn't ready to apply. I'm like, that's how weird is that? At 16, oh. I could enter university <laughs> in, at, back home. So why is it so different here? So I'm like, okay. But I got lucky at ELAC. Um, and I thank God for that. I got really lucky at ELAC and I applied um, when I was 16. And um, applying first and the difficulties that I met was, first of all, the, the, um, the language barrier. Mm. So, when I started, um, things seemed easy to me, but when it came to like my academics and um, me not even, me being at home and trying to study and I'm, I'm like all confused. I'm like, I don't understand what this dude is saying. And I'm scared because I have this heavy accent when I first mm -hmm. got here. So I'm like, okay, if I go meet my professor, would they understand me? Would they understand what I was saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person that I'll, I'm really scared. I really, I used to think, I used to think really deep into what people think about me. So mm -hmm. I was like, ah, oh, I, I, I can't go to my professor. I couldn't, I don't go to um, the tutoring center. Mm -hmm. I don't go to uh, my professors during office hours. Um, I tried going, but I'm like, ah, no, you know what? You just figure it yourself, just read the textbook. But in process reading textbook, textbook doesn't explain a lot. Mm. It's like, ah, you're still failing. Like I had a math <laughs> class that, I had a math class that I really don't like math, but I can still pass math a lot mm -hmm. times. But I had this math class um, that I, I took and, and it wasn't, it wasn't the best semester for me. Like I would have questions, but I could not speak out loud because Hey, I'm sitting in the class full of people that speaks a different English than I do, and <laughs> it's going to be difficult. And my professor will be asking me, "What are you saying? Repeat yourself." And I hate repeating myself over and over and over again. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll go home, study, read my textbook, and figure it myself. And I go home to read my textbook, and um, I don't understand anything. So I tried making friends, and I'm. With the accent too, it's so mm -hmm. difficult to make friends. And as once people, something that I experience is once people realize that you're from a different country from other than the United States, they look down on you and mm. they be like, oh, they're way better than you. And so if you're talking to them, they'd be like, you you just get this facial expression from them that, oh, mm. I'm I'm better than you. Oh, your English is so bad. And it's like, come on dude so i i hardly had friends i did not have friends during that semester 
I could not speak to my professor. I was just banking on whatever I could grasp when my professor speak. Mm -hmm. I could not ask questions because of my accent. So it was a really difficult experience. And I got, I had to fill that class. So mm -hmm. um, then I took another math class, but the, the only difference with that math class was um, the professor was a little bit um, helpful in the mm -hmm. sense that it gives us the guides um tell us to go research this research that and to study mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. for the class so i'm like okay that helped me to an extent mm -hmm. and and i and i and my professor was an immigrant so i had to, I, at that point i had a connection between Got myself you. and the professor and i was like oh yes okay so i have someone that will not look down on me <laughs> and will not say be hacks and and uh um, we'll just be like okay we'll explain this to their best um effort you know so i always went i always go to the, like some explanation especially after after class because when i started that semester looking back at the previous month i'm like you know what you just have to put yourself out there like no matter what if mm -hmm. they have to laugh at you just let them laugh at you just put yourself out there you're not gonna fill this math class again just mm. put yourself out there so and yeah and then Absolutely. realizing that yeah. um oh, is is an yeah, then realizing that my professor is an immigrant it just made everything really easy for me. So I could just mm -hmm. go to him and I could just ask him after class, um, professor, I need your help mm -hmm. on this. I don't ex I don't understand what you said in class. And I could and I'm always I'm always mindful of my environment mm -hmm. because um I would not want to raise my hand in class and be like, Professor, I do not understand what you just said. Because mm -hmm. I thinking, oh, my classmates, um, they might be thinking, oh, I'm wasting some of their time by asking that question, they really want to leave class, you know? So I'm like, okay, you know what? After class, like before um, we all leave, I'm just asking for one-on-one. -on -one. And it just made me feel comfortable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Professor helped um, students by giving them the um, study guide mm -hmm. to understand the work better. So it was just, it was just mostly the, the, um, the language barrier and mm -hmm. what we normally think people, um, or thinking about us, like what what is in their their thinking process about us, especially um, we Africans, we have mm -hmm. the every accent. So it's like I've had experiences where people come to me and just make fun of my accent when I first came. Mm. So it was really really hard for me to just put myself mm. out. It was so like I had I was always in my shell. My uncle was like, "Go out!" I'm like, "I can't go out. I don't know how to speak your language. It's still the mm. same English." Mm -hmm. But it's a different type of English. So I just don't want people to laugh at me and be like, oh, African booty scratching, you know? So it's mm -hmm. like, I, I just kept myself, I'm always indoors. I don't go out. I don't even mm -hmm. go to the coffee shop. I make my own coffee. Mm -hmm. So it was so just the language barrier made everything really difficult. Mm -hmm. Instead of social life and the ac academic life. Mm. So, but you know what? Don't give up. You know. Uh, also, I'm I'm not a native English speaker, right? So right. to speak English, um, to communicate is is not native for me. Right. But the good thing is for uh, like they're doing the design, engineering, architecture. So you communicate. Uh, Negri is one thing, but also you have presentation, you have drawings. This yeah. will help you to elaborate your ideas, communicate to your audience. Right. So, but it seems yeah. like language is your barrier. So right now, do you have any friends right now to help you to kind of get rid of your situation? Yeah, I have friends right now. <laughs> I have friends right now. And the, the, mm. the thing that also helped me in the process was um, the presentation classes that we had, the design, um, environmental design classes we had in ELAC. We have in ELAC the um, design classes 101, 202, 201 that we have at ELAC. Mm -hmm. When you present, and you cannot shut up. So you present in the, in in front of in front of an entire class, and it's like, but I'm trying to express my idea. So you have to force yourself to learn and learn and learn. Mm -hmm. Once you're having those design classes, so it's like, okay, the design classes help me to just bring out myself more, mm. um, to um, explain myself more. You know. Mm. So nice, that's nice. One of the... So you, you right now you, you, you finished your two hundred one already, right? Or you in the process on your two hundred one? Yeah, I'm, I'm done with my design classes. Oh, you done your two, even two hundred two. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. So <laughs> two, two hundred 
201, 202 was fun. Like, they were yeah, fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's very intense. So basically, you give up. I took my 201 during the um, fall semester. Basically, there's no Thanksgiving. So, you <laughs> no, 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 all no holidays. So, wow. Well, so, you I, finished fall studio already. It, it's the time yeah. you're you ready to, to go to the next stage. Yeah. And it's also, transfer. yeah, one, one thing I want to share with you when I was uh, in ELAC, right? So um, mm -hmm. it, it actually is, uh, I have a lot of classmates, they, they, they're not an English speaker, right? So, and then we, right. we support each other. So let's say when you go to school, you mm -hmm. not only, you, language is one thing, but how to work around right. the system is also challenging, right? right? So we're, yeah. about, we're about information. So you will take much, much more longer to, to, yeah, and and get to every, the point. everything in the school system in the United States don't. It's not beautifully international students. Mm -hmm. It's like we have to dig our way deep for us mm -hmm. to get the into the information we have. We don't have mm -hmm. grants open for us like mm -hmm. to help us. Finally, they think the the very misconception that I've seen my friends tell me is that oh, mm -hmm. you come from Nigeria, you're an international student, so you must be rich. I'm like, bruh. I mean, to some extent, it, it, it's true, but I mean, the school, I'm paying way higher than you are paying. And that means the money from somewhere is reducing somehow. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I mean, to some extent, yeah, but I'm paying like times three. International students pay mm -hmm. $300 per unit. You pay like 50 bucks per unit. So it's, there's a difference I know. between me and and you guys are open to a lot of scholarships to a lot of grants but us we we're just stuck in one place we have to pay the money we can't even ask for scholarships we can't even ask for grants we can for help basically so but one thing i like about the architecture department at elac is that um they their their scholarship is open to everyone mm -hmm. so international students non-international students you're 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 allowed to apply for the scholarship mm -hmm. and you're um and you're, um, what's it called, awarded the scholarship if you um, win. So that's mm -hmm. one thing I like about the architecture department, but in every other areas, you have to really search deep to be able to win scholarships and grants. Mm -hmm. Even the, the federal, the, the government is not on your side if you're an international student. So like, uh, yeah. we have you have to look hard for private scholarship. So um, yeah. I remember when I was um, undergrad, right? So I applied to, um, right. I, 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 I'm a Chinese, so I applied as Chinese construction uh, scholarship. So they, there's this organization to provide me the scholarship. Um, that, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of cool. So do you think that um, uh, you have any scholarship in your community? Yeah. Like a Nigerian scholarship. Well, so I just asking, yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I think there are scholarships for mm -hmm. um, Nigerians in my community um, back home. I think there's scholarship, but um, the problem is those scholarships lead you to like schools you don't really want to go to, like, mm. like um, they're like honestly. I prefer to be in California, spend mm. my go through school, than to go to another different state and not get the recognition that I had that I have that I will have if I went to California. You know, <laughs> so I just I mean there 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 are grants, but the problem with with that too is that some of these um, sponsors they literally forget you once you've got into the United States, so you don't know which one will will take you through the process till you um, graduate. Or you don't you don't know any anyone, so you just have to you're just working on thin ice. It's just you have to like look for someone that will, if they promise you a full ride scholarship, you have to make sure they pro they keep their promise. But in mm -hmm. so, in most cases, some of them don't keep their promises. So it's like, uh... well, what's the whole point of me just applying? Like I still have to pay for this, and. And 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 you're now in a four-year university where you have to pay thirty thousand dollars in a year. So it's like mm. I could have just gone to a community college, got in my A, probably worked, then mm. save money, then 
um, mm -hmm. go to the four-year university, but it's just, yeah, it's it's difficult for we international students. For no, real. I understand, totally understand. So when I, I, I went to SIAT, you, you know SIAT, right? So private right. school expensive, and then when I see yeah. that the local kids they can get full tuition, I I can feel the pettiness yeah. be in my heart. So, oh my <laughs> goodness, how can I get the full tuition to finish my school? Yeah. And then I work very hard, and then I get jobs, you know, to cover my tuitions. I totally understand. Right. So then, right. yeah, when when I go back to the research, I try to see how is I try to looking for what exactly will help the international student. So you talk right. about your language is one of the barriers. So it seems like you're getting better right. better handle of your language right now. So, yeah. and then also um, tuition is, is uh, I mean, tuition is really, really tough, right? So because uh, as a foreign student, you need to pay extra because you do, do not get the subsidize from the government for right. the tuitions. Um, but a good thing, right. I, I think I'm not sure it's good or bad. So when you go to university, so this barrier will be everyone will be the same. Everyone pay the same tuition. So, yeah, I I I, I hope so. <laughs> yes. So and then, but it's not help you, but is at least you know that your your classmate they're paying the same tuition. So, <laughs> so yeah. and then, yeah. Oh. So is this the tuition uh, when you're looking for your next stage, right? So you definitely you will you will move on to other university. So right. um. What is the criteria um, to for you to looking for the, to 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 select your uh, ideal university? Well, um, num in I have I don't how would I put this? Okay, so I'll I'll start with in in my parents' eyes, mm -hmm. they're looking for an Ivy League university. Oh, so they're like looking for university be like. Harvard, Yale, Harvard, but Yale. not, but something close to that. So now, <laughs> um, an example of that would be um, UCLA, UC Berkeley, right? Mm -hmm. But then I tell them, "Are you ready to pay those fees? Fees like mm. they're expensive. Are you ready to pay it there?" So mm -hmm. number one, money is my criteria because I think of I don't want to be stranded and not be able to finish my school and not get my bachelor's. You know, so I just mm -hmm. I think about. The and I also think about, so I think about the community in the school. Mm. It says that I'm a black person and I'm living in the, in the, in the place that is really strange to me. And I'm mm -hmm. African, sorry, I'm an African person living in a strange land and mm. I don't know anyone mm -hmm. except family back home and my uncle. So it's just mm -hmm. me all by myself. So I'm looking for like a university that um, gives me the sense of community and not make me miss my own so much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and not make me feel left out you know so mm -hmm. you see berkeley you see you see uh ucla would not be my ideal school because it's a large larger community you know and it's not it's not something i have i, I would feel a sense of um family to like closest mm -hmm. we have to start starts all Oops. over searching oh, well. for mm. friends you know so schools like New School of Architecture now, um, I feel like that 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 would be like an example of where I want to go to. Mm -hmm. And um, Pomona mm -hmm. and um, Cal Baptist, because mm -hmm. I know some of um, um, ELAC students that transferred and transferred into um, Cal Baptist. So mm -hmm. at least I will, still, I will still see them and I'll still be able to make friends with them and we mm -hmm. together will make new friends and create our little community but you see black you see berkeley you see la you get lost <laughs> you definitely get lost yeah but, so but like, don't don't limit it yourself um trust me so i went to sire so i'm not sure how many elect student they transferred to sire so but in my time so uh i'm the first one Mm -hmm. uh, applied it back to sire so after that some some student applied back to sire because oh. the, the people was very afraid this is a design school that will be you know a lot a lot of things is so different right when i when i transferred to sire i have no i know nothing and there's a no elect student in the school in the new area so but when i and then is private school so expensive when I look yeah. back, the whole experience is very worth it because 
when you go to school, you can break through your yourself and then you open your eyes. So right. I think that hopefully that will work out for you. Um, because when you, this is, you only have one time, you know, no, right. uh, maybe you can challenge it. Hey, I can go to different school, but you know, when you go to finish your undergrad, so more of the people, they only have one time, right? To take this opportunity um, yeah. to open your eyes. So, and then um, Cal Poly is good. Yeah, that's, that's the right. good school. I know that um, Cal Baptist, is, that the program is a new, so, and then right. how about the people inside, how about the ELAC student? Do they apply to SIA right now? Or do they have some students I want think, to apply? Think, think, I think some students are trying to apply to SIA. Yeah, this is tough, it is very tough, so. Yeah, yeah that's why, right. so, I mean, my problem is, um, it's not really a problem for me, but I'm just, I'm shy. Mm -hmm. And like, SIA is like way above me, like, no, don't, 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 oh. don't, 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 don't think about. It. So, here's the thing. So you, you, you are talented. You have to showcase yourself. So architect is very out, outgoing. Is very um, uh, um, actively to communicate your ideas. So take this opportunity to to learn how to build up your character to communicate with other people. So, and then this is very unique for architecture. So um, I, I study architecture. After I graduate, I working in the architect firm, then I transitioned to do mm -hmm. product design, then I transitioned mm -hmm. to uh, classroom design. So, mm -hmm. and then this is very unique. So, and then when you go to the good school, the skill you learn, mm -hmm. you never, no one can take it out, take out from you. So I, yeah, sure. hopefully don't limit it yourself. Because I, 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 you know, I, I, I feel, I feel that <clears throat> when you limited yourself, and that this is a great opportunity, mm -hmm. will go away. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So try it. So even though you, you think maybe not your cup of tea, and then because, but I, I, I he from you is you're more afraid you cannot fulfill the, um, the requirement, but you never know. Yeah. I, I, I saw a lot of. Uh, I, I, okay, that's the so funny thing is when I, uh, I when I applied to SIA, right? I met some student. Mm -hmm. So and it, in third year, so they have a lot of students from Miami. So and mm -hmm. also they apply to SIA, they get full tuition. So you never know. Do right. it. Don't be afraid to. And then this is the only time you can try different crazy thing. Yeah. I'm not saying that SIA is a good school for you. But don't be limited yourself because you're afraid to change. Because this is this is, and also I, I'm uh, when I'm doing my research, I, I I realize that one thing is to get the international student to to the mainstream of uh, American mainstream culture. This is tough. Yeah. Even though yeah. right now I, I'm working with my coworker, because I'm not speaking a poppy English English, I, I sometimes yeah. I get some hardship is not able to get into the group. So. But uh, only right. the only thing I can do is working harder, working smarter to be sure to get. Right. Yeah. Right. Hopefully that's that will help you. Yeah. Uh, let me see what is my next question. Yeah. So um, let's say when uh, it's, it's so in the um, for the uh, international particular for an international student. So what what support what kind of support you particular you're looking for where someone can help you. Oh. Well, um, as an international student, I would say the first thing is um, financial support. Financial support. Yeah, because in, in some cases, right, um, mm -hmm. because we have to take so many GEs, mm -hmm. especially at a community college, we have to take so many mm -hmm. GEs, we have to take our um, major mm -hmm. classes too, mm -hmm. um, we spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. and from different countries having different exchange rates is there. There are times that it is really I off the, out the roof, and there's sometimes it's low. So mm -hmm. you cannot really predict. So I think mm -hmm. the first thing would be like financial support, and in the sense that we international students, we're ready to work and also go to school. We mm -hmm. do not. We're ready to do both things at the same time, but we're not given that much option. So the only option we have is to work on campus. And that's if you, you're lucky to get job 
on campus and mm-hmm. you cannot work off campus to just support yourself. So we're 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 basically just um just depending on our parents for tuition, food, rent, other um minor expenses, um your laptops, your um materials if you're not architecture students and um science all the majors materials so it's like we need that financial support we don't want to mm-hmm. stress parents too much because we don't know the situation back home there are times that the country is good back home and there are times that it's not good like for mm. example this really messed things up you know mm-hmm. it's just it's just that financial support will really take us um <clears throat> a long way <laughs> And I yeah, think, true. and I think another another thing is that um, so this is in 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 sense of immigration. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, um, as international students, we we want to live outside. We want to experience what we something different than what we used to experience. Exactly. Yeah. So we just don't want to come to come to the United States, go to school, and go back. We mm-hmm. want to stay and experience the life the life as an American and the 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 working the working life the social mm-hmm. life want to experience that but being an international student you're not given that option you mm-hmm. only given you have to go to school per semester 12 units and you don't get to work off campus uh you get to stay on campus if you find a job you work on campus and you have to um not get less than 2.0 GPA you have mm-hmm. to maintain your status it's like so much for us paying a lot but we get a little a mm. very back in return so oh, we really? want hmm. yeah we want to experience that american culture we're leaving our country because we want to experience something different mm. so we want to be boxed in and and not get that experience so in sense of immigration we're not doing so great we we're just boxed in you're just like come in and get out that's yes. that's for international students i see but you know what? In, right now, I'm I'm working uh, uh, with USC right now. So mm-hmm. and then also I I also hire student workers. So and then right. I, I I I I I also hire international students. So um, maybe I'm not sure what is the policy in the United right now. So but maybe when you transfer right. to university, you were able to apply as a work study. So and then uh, uh, in my undergrad, in, I mean in SIRE, so I have a lot of students. They as an international student, they're working with the wood shop. Mm-hmm. They they have the people to do the laser cutting, to do the three D printing. I think they do the same. Thing. Like, um, they do the same. So that's but but the problem is it depends on the department. So I work on campus um, as an international student um, student worker. So I work in an international student office, but mm-hmm. we're so limited. We can. Um, we can accept everyone that applies to the office, you know? So we tell them to go to a different department to see if mm-hmm. they are- if they have we, opportunities, right? Yeah, but but some are like, uh, no, you're an international. Some people, some people, <laughs> some, some, I think someone told me before that um, they went to apply and they said like, oh, you're an international student. We don't accept international students. So it's like, mm. we're, we're just boxed in. We want to work and go to school. We're going to maintain our GPA. No mm. problem with that give us this opportunity to like work because so there's times that things might be all nice back home but there are also times that we have to we have to survive you know mm. so it's not really for us international students for us to like pay a lot but not get so much opportunities back in return mm. yeah but yeah. yeah, I think that when you yeah. transfer to university, because the school have more resources that we, we're going to change, right. hopefully we're going to improve your, your situations. So yeah, I right. think that's pretty good. Um, so Lou, so that, that's your, your information is really, really good. So I want to ask you, uh, let's say when I, um, that's we're going to uh, talk, uh, talk something different. So let's say when I give you five yeah. minutes, so do you have any projects you want to present and then to the to do you have any project you want to be sent? Uh, let me see. I think I, 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 I will let you. I, I let you. I, I let you. I am let you to share your screen. So with, give me a second. I uh, just give me a second. <laughs> yeah, that's just exciting. So I really want to see. Yeah, and then this this also this study. I will going to uh, also interview the student. Have them to get them some channels they can be send their work, and then you never know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I, I, I'm going to show, I'm going to share like, uh, different projects. Um, yeah. I'm going to yeah. share like my photography and, um, my architecture projects. Sure. But yeah. there's one that I'm really working on and I'm really excited about, but mm -hmm. I'm not done. So, yeah. uh, just no, so I'm trying to show you my last portfolio <laughs> because, uh, right now I'm not using my portfolio to open opportunities now. But I would like to share. Um, yeah, you share first, and then I share second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Take your time, no rush. Mm -hmm. And then I'm looking for my. Where is my portfolio? Okay, I got it. All right. Uh, I, I look at my project back to 2016. Yes. <laughs> All right. I see you have another account is connecting to. Yeah, um, I'm trying to, um, I, I have the Zoom on two different places. Okay, sure. Uh, one on my computer and one on my app um, because of my network issues. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Yeah, so right now you, you're, you're going to your class, you're using Zoom to to present, to critique, to learn architecture. That's what we found actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just never, I never done it. So I just wonder how it's, it's going to work. <laughs> it's not, it's not easy. All right, I'm going to mute your second computer, right? So that, oh yeah, you muted. Yeah, That's good. <clears throat> Woohoo. <clears throat> Alright, um, stop sharing this. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> mm -hmm. so um, this project um, mm -hmm. is a rendering class project, um, architecture rendering class project. So mm -hmm. we had to um, uh, do a picture of, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, take your time, no rush. Okay, there, go back. Thank you. All right. <laughs> what? Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to do like a picture collages of, mm -hmm. of saying, um, of, of a story. So we had to select the story. Uh, just give me. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry about mm -hmm. that. No, no, no. Um, yeah. yeah. So we had, we had to uh, create a picture collage um, mm -hmm. telling the story. So I had I wanted to um, just show my story was just about Nigeria, um, mm -hmm. a time where we had a civil war, mm -hmm. um, and the civil war was was based was created by so much greed because mm -hmm. we have Nigeria has a lot of um, crude oil mm -hmm. and also created by religion so mm. i huh. Did you stop? take your time no rush 
I don't know. My other project is trying to show up at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, um, so we, I had, to, I wanted to show like the aftermath of what um, mm -hmm. mixing um, creed and religion uh, could cause. So mm -hmm. there were so famine in the land. People died. We had, we had children as as young as eleven years old being soldiers mm -hmm. because people trying to steal their greed and people create, killing Christians. So, mm -hmm. and, and here is a land of mixture of so many religions. So we don't really <clears throat> care at, at the stage of we, where we are right now. We don't really care about your religion, but it's just, I just wanted to show a story about the pain, the, 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 the sadness that we had during that time because of the blessings that we have. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more, at that time, it's more of a curse than a blessing to us. So I just mm. wanted to, I was just like, and I think we recently did this like a week ago. Yeah, we, mm. we, a week nice. ago. Nice, nice. Thank you. Just, yeah, and uh, I have, I'm still working on this one. Um, basically, this is meant to be an art gallery um, mm. located on Sunset wow. Boulevard. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much still working on this one. I have, mm. um, I'm still rendering it so i have <clears throat> um it's just a, a, a two two story um mm. um gallery space uh mm -hmm. um it was meant to be my 201 so i'm redoing my 201 project um mm -hmm. i really did not like the one i did for class <laughs> so i'm trying to <laughs> i'm trying to make it better make it best you know mm. Then um, yeah, I just I'm still pretty much just working on it right now. Um, mm. Wow! So can you can you just go through uh, some of the design concept about this project? Okay, so um, my my design my inspiration for this project was um, basically the 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 um Lovell, the Lovell Elf House. Mm -hmm. Um, how it has a lot of um stairs to just keep um the occupants healthy every mm -hmm. time. So that's what I, I um, worked on. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. So I wanted to incorporate the same idea, the same concept of him having um, stairs, but I also wanted to control the sunlight going in. Mm. So the so as you're going in, is going to be totally dark, mm -hmm. really dark. But as you move upstairs, um, I will show you in a second. Uh, So I'm sorry. So as you move upstairs, uh, you have you have this big space with an um, enormous amount of sunlight going in. Which mm -hmm. is <clears throat> you're first going in, it's dark, and you're going up. But then you have like it's just like um how would I call it like um a light, you know, in movies when lights are like beaming from uh, one spot. That's how I just mm -hmm. wanted. Make it that way so you're just moving into um darkness and coming into light so i also incorporated the the richard richard neutra um level elf concept of having stairs and having to walk around so it's it's pretty much that's just my inspiration and mm -hmm. um yeah it's just my concept right now and i didn't want to make it anything crazy because i wanted it to also blend with the community mm. but the crazy is just a big glass wall you know but mm -hmm. everything else is blending with the community, is being part of the community, you know? Mm. Then, um, that's, right now I'm still working on it. <laughs> no, no, that, that's fantastic. You know, for, uh, as you, as a second uh, second year student, that's, that's very amazing, yeah. So Thank I, you. I, I think that you did a good job. Thank you. And um, and last one, um, I, you know, I told you I'm also, mm -hmm. um, interested in photography mm -hmm. so one picture i'm um working on right now um mm -hmm. this happened a few days ago in sacramento so i took i took um right now i'm in sacramento mm -hmm. so i took a picture and it was hailing so i just wanted to um appreciate that moment mm -hmm. and i i do have uh another one that is nice mm -hmm. yeah just 
And I have this one. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, then I have this one. Um, this one actually is, is, is an abstract um, photography that I was playing with um, just to show the importance of um, water, you know? Um, I took this photo in my kitchen right here. <laughs> um, it's just an expression of how like just a single drop of water could um, save life, you know? Mm. So, hey, actually, you you do have a lot of good good projects. Do you consider to put a um to make uh, create a website to kind of uploading a let's say online portfolio? Yeah, I was I was working on that. <laughs> no, I, I just kind of see that this is a great potential. You you should consider it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I need to look into it. I think I need to look. Into yeah. It. So. Let me see what I can. Um, uh, wow, that's fantastic. So, yeah, um, let me show you a couple of things so we don't yeah. mind. I'm just, so, I'm just let me share my screen here. Oh. So, this is, um, uh, is, is it this one? You, you can see my screen. So, talk about mm -hmm. when I develop it. So what kind of project? Let's say this is my work project and then we get out some basic information here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, and then I, I can show you where is my school project. So um, I have some school projects, some, some like this. So this is my school projects. So this is one of my first projects. And then also when you create your kind of portfolio or websites, mm -hmm. uh, you need to think mm -hmm. about the structure. So um, you, and then I, I make my, my presentation very um, organized in the same fashion. So when they're, <clears throat> when, uh, when your audience do read it so that they can get the information very yeah. easily. All right, so this is okay. my, my, um, project using yeah, rhino, renderings is so <laughs> rhino and grasshopper so and then to do some uh, interesting calculations and then also this is another uh, grasshopper project this is one of the projects when i was working with my professors so i helped them to mm. decide a facade so this is my project here and then also don't be afraid to have a page showcase your rendering this is not a rendering this yeah. is the actual project <laughs> so and then then oh. i transition to a um, um <clears throat> to a product design so and then i um uh, we do a markup here by a few weeks that that's really that's really cool and also i, I i'm going to showcase when i'm using the same concept how i can apply to different type of design this is um this is a, uh this is a rendering how i using to um 3D Studio Max and then Rhino to populate the design mm. uh, on a uh, um, uh, uh, rendering space. So then I, this is my uh, final project in my undergrad. So we actually, we build a house, mm. we do the design, we understand how the system works. Couple of pictures. I'm sorry, did you use for, the, for this, for the last one, this one? Yeah, uh, this did one? you use a, a container? Yeah. Did you use a container to no, design it or? Con container is the inspiration um, because oh. we try to be modulized. So um, you, you will see this project uh, actually, uh, we put the house on the track. So, and mm, then yeah. when, when they close, it's like a 400 square feet, but when you open mm -hmm. it up, so you will have a courtyard here, right? So this is the interior right. space. When you open it up and then will be thousand, thousand uh, square feet just uh, oh. putting your house in different uh, position and then also you oh. you see this is a pool here so we can move right. a house to different position and then you can see you can have different landscape features in your house oh, so you nice. see some of them have grass here so and then have a pool here that's, that's a really fun project and then this is my my uh, work we doing the towers and you show how the tower we using different uh, image, um, the different uh, rendering technique to show the different structure within the buildings. Mm. Um, 
So my other school projects, you <clears throat> rendering is your your friend. So you should spend <laughs> some good time to to do how to do rendering. So when I was mm -hmm. in ELAC, everyone just using um, do not we I, I in my time we do not have much student doing rendering. So but I, I spent mm -hmm. so much time to master my rendering skills and 3D modeling skills to prepare my my uh, my school in Syrup. So, and then, then we also do, uh, this This project is structure driven and other parametric design, so Rhino. So uh, in my time, uh, I really fascinated um, parametric design. So, you know, you know, Rhino, right? Have you here? Right, yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I know that right now it's switched to more like the Revit because the people want to see more reality than, the imagination, but, right. um, <laughs> but Rhino is a really good tool for um, designer to exp express and explore the different design opportunities, right? So right. This, the concept, this yeah. one is we're using uh, kind of like a, a con like this as a pattern, we project it to the facade and then wrap around the building. So mm. that's, you can see that there's a, some concept mm. drawing to showcase how is uh, and also this is very low cost too. So, and then we are not saying using the mm. very crazy shape and then we're just changing the wind, the size of the windows to achieve their um, parametric um, look and feel. Mm. So, and then this is uh, one of the, my favorite projects. So I'm doing the LA city. So uh, it's an undergrad project. So we, we mm. try to study how we take advantage of the uh, union station. So we build a, a, a super um, structure on top of it. So mm -hmm. let me show you. So this super structure could be um, a living space on top. And we have office space, we have shopping space. This is a um, mixed use development. And also we, in, in the middle, we have a, mm -hmm. uh, a high speed, high speed tr uh, train station connect to different city. Yes. Um, also, uh, in my undergrad, so we also do uh, some kind of exper experimental projects. So this mm. project, we're trying to do a greenhouse in Las Vegas. So we, I tried to use different techniques to manipulate the shape to make a very dynamic space. Um, mm. um, so this Did is- Did you the, use grasshopper for that? Hmm? Did one? you use grasshopper? For, um, uh, the oh, <laughs> this this one uh, is I think is my second second semester to use Rhino. So I use oh. I, I I in in Elac I learned very good uh, 3D Studio Max skills. So this right. rendering from 3D Studio Max and then I pull processing using Photoshop. Uh, mm -hmm. And then and then the, the shape I I, I developed by by Rhino. Rhino. Oh, yeah, nice. and then also uh, this is a this is the first group projects, I, I partnership with one of my, my, my classmates. So, and then he doesn't have a good 3D modeling skill, but he is really creative. So as you can see that all the funky shape uh, model, he, he kind of figured out the concept. So mm. the model at the end is not That's looking to actual design, but is contribute in, uh, to uh, inspiration to drive the project design. Uh, yeah, this is the final product. So, and also you need to build up some technical skills. And then this project mm. is using, taking a couple of very famous building and then to to apply different technique to reduce the design. So, and then for this project, I learned how to do the line, line rate and also to model the, this complicated geometry. So, and also at the end, we created very nice rendering and then also create actual objects as the final product. Um, and then also, I also show a couple um, po projects. I, I, I help the other people. So that's probably nice. You, you, um, the reason why I wanna show you because I wanna help you to understand how to organize your work and also be prepared, have your portfolio any, at any time. Yeah. Thank so, you. You. Yeah, hopefully that's so that's that's help you out, and then also I uh, thank you yeah, for yeah. your for your thank you no, so much for your insights too. Yeah. Um, what's called my my portfolio? Mm -hmm. So I've been 
going back and forth on how I want my portfolio to look like. So, but now you show me, I have work to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, um, I, this took me very long, long time. Mm. So you saw my work is from my, from my ELAC all the way to, to my work. So, um, yeah. yeah, don't, 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 don't rush. You will get there, but you need to be, make a plan. Um, don't be afraid to try mm. something new. And also, I wish you will try. Um, don't limit it by your your condition. I know that it's tough, yeah. but try try to think about what you really really want to achieve. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that with with dreams, so you will reach out to the mm -hmm. destination. So, but th th this mm -hmm. is a hard question. What is your dream, right? <laughs> As the student, so yeah. particularly for the international student, I know that you will have a lot of constraints to limit it, the way you explore your education. But I wish you you mm -hmm. um um you will figure it out. So hopefully the little yeah. sharing I can help you out a little bit. So yeah, yeah big time. <laughs> yeah, and and then also, yeah. Tell me about something fun about Elac. So yeah, in the Elac, what is the um the tradition you enjoy the most? Ah, uh, the tradition I enjoy the most is the community we built in the architecture department. Mm. I really, like we're, we're we're like one big big family you know mm -hmm. so it's like oh someone and you don't know someone but someone that you know knows the person so it's like one big family you're not all feeling like strangers you we help each other every time mm. so I think that's my number one thing at Eli mm -hmm. just that architecture department is like the best like I, I I'm happy that other schools did not accept me <laughs> Mm. And to Eli. No, they 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 just uh, underestimate your potential. They yeah <laughs> yeah. So and then also um when when you um I know that you you'll probably transfer very soon right because yeah. you already finished the uh, full uh, studios. Yeah. So uh, what is your your uh, key takeaway from from your under uh, from your college education? What, what do you learn uh, besides school? Besides school, yeah. Besides, beside uh, academics. Yeah, besides academic, yeah. You make friends. Make friends. Make friends because without you having mm -hmm. friends, you're not open to a lot of opportunities, and you're just stuck in one place. Mm -hmm. You're not open to different different um, options. You're just in one place. So I think when I started making friends, I a lot of things became more clear to me i was open to a lot of things that i wasn't open to you know so it's mm -hmm. like um yeah making friends is like the number one thing except for academics yeah mm -hmm. and any more yeah, I think to me uh, <clears throat> yeah i just think it's just making friends so friends mm -hmm. just they just open your eyes to a lot of things that you've never mm -hmm. seen so mm -hmm. in that process, you learn new things and um, new process, you know? Mm -hmm. So just that number one thing, make friends, don't be on your own all the time. Honestly, the first year or so that I went to ELAC, I regret not making friends. Mm. <laughs> I, I was just in one place, go mm -hmm. go back home, come back to school, go home, go to school, go to work, go home, go to, it's like a circle, but <laughs> there's no fun in the circle at all. So it's like... All right, but when I started making friends, I I just had to break out of that that box, mm -hmm. and, I, and I became more friendly, and I start seeing, and I start I started understanding the um American culture more and more. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, they opened my eyes to something that I didn't know was there, you know. Mm. Wow, that's that that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> so ah, oh, I forget what I trying to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, what what else? Oh yeah, yeah. So do you do all of your friend are they just uh, in the architecture school or they come from other departments? I mean, other majors. Well, I I think all my friends are just from um either the office mm -hmm. um that I work in and architecture department and some from back home and that's pretty much it. Mm. 